Teach an old dog new tricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to talk to you a little bit more about tracking. What I find is a little bit awkward about teaching tracking is tracking is the kind of thing I think you really have to get in and try. Again, it's a good tool if you're collaborating with other people. And a great example of that is let's say you're working with someone else on this document and you work on the document, you create the original, you save it, maybe you email it to someone else. Well, they can make changes, they can then in turn save it, send it back to you, and with this kind of tracking, you can see what it looks like and eventually either reject or apply the changes that person has made. And we'll illustrate this as we go along. But based on what we have here so far, over here on the left hand side on the toolbar, we have some options here. See where it says final showing markup? Well, if I click on this drop down, I'm going to click on final. And what it does is it takes out all the red squiggly lines. It's what we can work with. If I again go and click on original showing markup, it brings us back to this information here. It gives us more detail over on the right hand side. Again, let me go down to the last one, the original. This is the original. This is what I started with. So by clicking on these drop downs and going in and looking at different items, you can see where they are, where they were, and get a better sense of what that document was and where you're going with it. So tracking fundamentally is something that I think you got to get used to, you got to practice with, and I think the more you practice, the better you'll get at it. My two cents, my opinion, for what it's worth. My name is Tony Holowitz. Thank you very much.